Hello Pistons fans, David Mayo from M Live here from the Palace of Auburn Hills. We're tonight the Detroit Pistons are 115-108 winners over the Sacramento Kings. Not the kind of defensive jump that the Pistons were looking for, but they'll take it against the worst scoring defense in the NBA. Sacramento allowing almost 110 points per game. And the Pistons score 39 in the first quarter, the highest scoring first quarter of the season. 67 in the first half for the highest scoring first half of the season. Uh, and they get a lot of production from a lot of guys, 97 points uh, out of the five starters. Marcus Morris drops six three-pointers in the first half. Uh, Reggie Jackson had uh, kind of a rough start to the game, got physically ill and threw up into the trash can behind the, the Pistons bench. Uh, uh, actually threw up onto his own jersey and had to have it changed. Uh, but he comes up with almost a triple-double by the end of the night, 19.7 rebounds and nine assists. He did uh, have five turnovers, but uh, Jackson settled in as the game uh, went along and, and had a productive night. Andre Drummond with another double-double. He also had three block shots, and uh, the Pistons got 16 offensive rebounds tonight, four each from Drummond and Baines as they, uh, they get more offensive rebounds out of their two centers than the Kings uh, did out of their whole home team, whole team. And Contavious Caldwell Pope once again comes up with a 23-point night, uh, wins, a, wins the battle at shooting guard by a significant margin, got himself going with some uh, defense early, some transition stuff, a couple early dunks, uh, got him started, and then he comes up with the two uh, big three-pointers late in the game after Sacramento had uh, cut the lead to three, uh, stretches it back out in Pistons, walk off with a seven-point win tonight exactly what they needed to do against a bad team. Uh, they get another one uh, Saturday night uh, when they play the Nets, and in fact, uh, their next three games again are against teams under the playoff cut line as they continue on this nine-game homestand, tonight being the second of those games. Uh, so it's a, it's a good opportunity to take care of business. They're still percentage points behind the Bulls, 13 games to play, kind of the same story, uh, treading water a little bit as they go along, but again, with this weak lineup of home opponents during this home heavy uh, stretch of the schedule. A real good opportunity for the Pistons to get back above the playoff cut line by early next week. Uh, I'll be back with you. We'll see how it goes Saturday night when they play the Brooklyn Nets here from the Palace.